Hello guys. Um, today we're gonna be doing a how to make something in RPG Maker tutorial, and specifically today I'm gonna show you how to do a simple and a complex resource gathering system. Now this is kind of connected to the tutorial that I made earlier this month, uh, the complex and easy crafting systems. Uh, this is gonna, however, I could not include it in that tutorial specifically because it was a uh, very long tutorial already, and I wanted to, to you know, have uh, have some time to explain this uh, as well as I can. And also because this tutorial is gonna be quite long as well, and you need to have that in mind. Now, uh, what we're gonna do here, and this is just for. Documents, we're gonna go to the uh, RPG Maker BXAs and we're gonna go over here to my graphics and this is the graphics from my other uh, from my other game that I'm creating and I'm just gonna copy here two things that we're gonna use and actually I'm gonna copy just one thing that we're gonna use. We're gonna go to documents and we're gonna go to Again, RPG Make, uh, Maker DXA, this is our empty project where you create the tutorials, go into the graphics folder, go into the characters folder, and just copy and paste these plans. Now, you might be asking to yourself why you know, am I copying the plans into the uh, graphics folder, but there's a, there is an explanation here. Now, the way that you're going to have to create a new resource in the game is just go to items. And as you can see, we have a help of resource. Let's give it uh, an actual name. Let's call it uh, Journal. No. Uh, and it's, it's gonna say this is used to create health potions. Now, in my crafting video, I showed you how to create an item that gives you uh, the uh, to create an event that gives you the the resources. But that's not really what you want. You want resources to be spread through your game world. And you want uh, the and you want the player to be going around picking them up and collecting them and then you know crafting things with them or selling them whatever he prefers. That being said, he said uh, we're gonna go here and we're gonna create a new graphic. And we're gonna go to plants and we're gonna use this apply. Okay, everything clear, perfect. So now what we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna s s uh, show a text to the player. It's gonna say uh, oh, sorry. Uh, you the following. I don't even. Uh, what was it called again? Sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, da, 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 the Jorin plant. Okay. You have found a Jorin plant. Okay. Pretty simple. And the next thing I think you of course have to do is change the items because at the moment you're just telling the player the player that uh, he has found a Jorin plant, but. You don't actually add it to his inventory and the way you do that is you go to change items, you go to genre plan, then you go to increase operation, increase or increase the book. In the case of this we need to increase this and we need to increase it by one. Now that's up to you whether it's gonna be by one or not, but you know, just in general most times it's by uh, you increase by one. Perfect. Now we need a self switch here. And what I'm showing you at the moment is the very simplest way to create a, to create a, a resource gathering system. The, uh, and this is for going to be for the people that are you, you know don't need the complex system. I'm going to show you the complex system immediately after that. It has a bug in it, so you know this video is going to be a little bit longer to show you how to get around the bug and what the bug is actually. And I think it's a bug that comes from the RPG Maker itself. I'm not really sure. And we're gonna say erase event here. Okay, so first page gives you the joint plan, tells you that you have found the joint plan, and switches cell, uh, uh, cell switch A on. Second page checks that if cell switch A, uh, A is on and erases event. The way that RPG Maker reads pages is gonna read second page first. And if uh, cell switch is not on yet, it's gonna continue to first page, it's gonna uh, go through the first page. Then it's gonna go back to second page and check this, and it's gonna be on, and it's gonna delete the event. Now that's the simplest, the very simplest style of the resource gathering system. And as you can see, I can go over here and I can collect it, but you can immediately see a bug. 
Now as soon as I touch the plant, uh, you see that it changes its sprite for unknown reasons. Um, I can show you guys that I haven't used another sprite anywhere. You can see that the graphics is just one of the flower. And I have figured out after a long uh, time busting my head over this because I need it for my game as well. I have figured out that uh, you cannot have the plants in the same uh, in the same tile set. Otherwise, as soon as um, as, you, as soon as it starts switching through pages, for some reason it uh, changes your graphic to random graphic from the tile set. Like over here, this is the graphic that we got before, but you can get a whole bunch of them. You can get this one, you can get this one. And yeah, that's not really good. So how are we gonna get around this problem? We're gonna go here and we're gonna say open. And I'm sorry, this is my other project. We're gonna go to project number two because that's where our game is. We're gonna go to characters. Uh, actually, let me lower my volume a little bit because I want you guys to hear me clearly. And what we're gonna do now is just copy stuff from this. Uh, we're gonna create a new project. It's going to be 300 by 300. Perfect. We're going to create a new, uh, a new layer, and then we're going to go to to our plant here. We're going to zoom in, and we're going to go grab the plant that we need. Okay, perfect. So we're going to go to the next canvas that we set up. We're simply going to copy the plant. We're going to move it over here. So it's in the correct position and we're going to save it. This is the only reason that uh, you have to, you don't have a choice, but you have to leave only one picture, only one sprite in the DAO set. You, cannot, you can see that I actually made more pictures thinking that the RPG Maker is not going to create problems with it. But as you can see, it automatically starts shifting through different, different pictures. Now we're going to say uh, this is the, what was it, the plant? I'm sorry. Journal sure, plant. So I recommend naming your plants because when the resources get low, you need to know what's, uh, what's happening, what's what. And yeah, we're going to save it as PNG. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to Joran plant instead. We're going to apply it. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's no, not going to be a bug here that makes our sprite disappear randomly. So let's play and test it. And as you can see, there's no sprite uh, disappearing, etc. There is a problem here, and now we're gonna get into the problem. This is the easy system. This is just you place uh, resources, there gathers them, they disappear. This shows you how to avoid the bug with uh, multiple sprites, you know, uh, just randomly, uh, the RPG maker just randomly picking uh, sprites to change when it's going uh, through different script pages. So, this, uh, we've settled this one. How are we gonna make, but for example, uh, if you set up your crafting system in this simple way, that means that the crafting resources in the world are going to end uh, eventually. You're just gonna go away uh, because the player will most likely collect them all at some point. Now, what most games uh, use to, you know, get around this and stuff, something, is they set up another page uh, and the second page is gonna erase the event but then we're gonna set up a third page it's gonna be the same as character it's gonna be on uh, no it's gonna be below character priority and it's gonna be a parallel process because it's gonna have waiting control involved and it's gonna have a self if self switch is Anyways, um, now we're gonna click, uh, I'm sorry for the interruption, somebody called me on my phone for some reason. Uh, we're gonna say something here. We're gonna say if self switch is on and we're gonna set the objective uh, uh, priority and we're gonna say parallel process is triggered. And what we're gonna say here is wait. And we're gonna tell him to wait 300 frames. And you can set up, uh, set this up to as many uh, frames as you want. Copy 300 frames like times or whatever. But what's more important, we're gonna set something else here. Uh, and it's gonna be called... Oh, it's gonna be controlling uh, controlling self switch A and it's gonna be off after this amount of time. So this is the complex crafting system. What this is gonna do 
is it's gonna make the plant disappear when the plant player picks it up and after a certain amount of time that you've decided you know you have to decide what the amount of time is gonna be the and the plant regrows again and you know uh that makes it so that the, the resources in the world in the game world that you're gonna create do not expire you know because uh, otherwise like i said the map is gonna be empty at some point so we have picked up this giant plant and for now it's not and there it is again and we can pick it up again you can see that i cannot pick it up while it's gone but you can see that uh, it is respawning after a certain amount of time, 300 frames. Again, you can set it up at any amount of time you want. This is the complex system where you have respawning resources across the map so that the player can collect more and more. Now the respawn timers is something that you have to calculate and balance out yourselves for your specific game. Uh, the more simpler uh, variant was uh, to just uh, make the, the resources disappear. And I also showed you guys how to avoid the bug in the RPG Maker. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this. Make cool crafting systems, cool resource gathering systems in your games. And if you make something cool, share it here so I can enjoy it as well. I love games. <laughs> so anyways, see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much for watching and have fun.